I do my hair, don't check my nails. Baby, how you doing? Feeling good? Oh, hi guys. So less English makeup here. Um, as many of you know, and some of you don't, because I have so many new people on here. My name is Leslie English, and I'm a professional makeup artist and a master prepared nurse. I'll be finishing my nurse practitioner in literally like eight months. I'm so excited. Like I'm finishing the last parts here. And they actually let me touch people now. <laughs> so I'm here today to talk to you guys a little bit about our new line. Um, many of you know that I actually use Lime Life products as like my main products for all of my contracts and my brides and those kind of things. So we just released a new line with um, called Fierce by Allie. If you don't know who Allie Raceman is, she is an Olympic gold medalist, I believe at least three times, um, if not more. She was part of the Fab Five for the United States, and she is the definition of fierce. When I think about fierce, I think about somebody that's brave, that's put together, that's not afraid to stand up to oppositions, and I think of her as one of those people. So I'm gonna show you today a little bit of her products that we've launched as well as um, I'm gonna do a look with some of them. So I'm not gonna go through every single thing that came out, but we've got these really neat lipsticks here. They're holographic. I have one on today. This is actually the color I am wearing and it's called, um, I think it's Be Present. I'll get that name for you for sure because it's not on here. It's actually on the box, but I love this color. My other favorite is the Be Positive. I think I've worn it most of the time. The one in between is gorgeous too. We have the nudes for um, our darker toned ladies as well. This is my other favorite that I wear like almost every day. That's the Be Positive. So, all right, so we're gonna play around today with some fun liners. Um, part of our line, these don't come out until October, so if you want one of these, you need to message me or just make sure you follow. But they're dual-ended waterproof liners, and today we're gonna focus on using this really neat teal green and um, metallic shimmery white here. I am gonna use this nude as well for my waterline because I use our nude every day and you can get like a full size nude one from us as well. Our eyeliners are so awesome. Like the, the nude one's 20 bucks. Um, they glide on, they're waterproof so you kinda gotta get them where you want them. And we're gonna use this eyeshadow today. So she came out with three eyeshadows for us and they're really great. They're pigmented. They have a little bit of fallout because they're so good um, with the mineralized. These right here is called, this one's called Speak Up. So I'm gonna do that look today. And I'm gonna show you real quick. So I'm gonna try to use these all this week. I love this one right here. I started to use the Be Present. Um, they swatch really well. Like, look at that color. I mean, that is amazing. And it barely takes any, so. All right, let me wipe my finger on my little shade stick here. And as always, please like and subscribe as well as follow me for some Facebook and Instagram. My Facebook is Leslie Hoyle English and Instagram Less English Makeup LLC. I do a lot of stuff there. I'm also an educator for Beau Stigall Hair Products as a curly girl. Um, and I influence for so many things, but I'll just tell you my true opinions because not everything works in every line. And if somebody tells you that, then they're just trying to sell you something. So if I told you everything in Lime Life worked for me, that's a red flag. If you go into Ulta sometimes, you know, and somebody's steering you into one area or Walmart or something like that, red flags. You always need to be true to yourself and true to the makeup. I love this palette right here. I'm gonna find a really cool way to wear it this week. Um, it's called Fine Balance. I also think I can do some neat looks. I love this color right here. It's like called Blue Jean. And when I was in Hilton Head this week, we went for the launch and actually Allie Raisman was there. And we, if you didn't check her out, her interview is on my Facebook page live. So she's just really inspiring. Um, I will tell you that we played around with makeup there and since I'm an artist, a lot of people wanted me to do their makeup. So I shared a couple looks using some of these palettes on my page, also on my Instagram. So just make sure you check those out. And if you want one of these, um, they're not available to order on your own for a couple more weeks, but I can get them for you and drop ship them to you. So I like to say that up front and let you know that I do represent that company. Um, first we're going to prime our eyes. I've already done my face pretty light today and I used, you know, my botanical foundation concealer. Um, I did use another concealer from MAC, um, yeah, MAC and it's like an orange undertone. 
and I use it for puffy eyes sometimes or if I have dark circles so I put that under my makeup and then I put you know my regular concealer on and I used um, a blush that is like the dupe for NARS that we carry and I love it and since it has highlight in it I didn't have to add a highlighter today and I just have on lipstick so that's basically it um, and my brows are done I did use Lime Life's Brow Pencil and Brow Gel today. I switch up my eyebrows all the time, but this is one of my favorites. I especially like the brow gel. So right now I'm gonna prime my eyes. So it's always important to prime your eyes because have you ever noticed like if you wear eyeshadow through the day and then all of a sudden it's gone at the end of the day, it's because you know, we didn't prime our eyes, we didn't set it. It's like that wall blocking when you're painting to where it fills in all the cracks so your eyeshadow doesn't go in and absorb so we need to make sure that we're always priming our eyes you can use a concealer um i actually got this in one of my boxes that again it's by mirabella it's eyeshadow primer i actually like it it's like got a little brightening color to it it's pretty neutral but it works kind of the same as concealer for me because i have little veins in my eyes just like everybody else but mine are prominent to show so even if I'm not wearing makeup, I'll a lot of times put that eye primer on. All right, so I'm gonna use our translucent powder here, and it doesn't matter what powder you use, but it's important that you use a powder. And I just put it right on my sponge. And the reason being, you want the shadows to glide right over on the makeup. And you don't want them to get stuck. So if you've ever like, you're priming, but you forgot to put the powder, then you probably set your brush on your eye and notice like it absorbed this really dark spot and then you've got like a circle and, and you feel like you can't get it fixed. So that kind of takes care of that. So the last thing I do is I kind of run my fingers back and forth and uh, make sure there's nothing in my eyes and then I can get my fingers across my eyelid easily. Now my eye shape is a little bit hooded. You can see my full lid, but the top right here kind of protrudes down. Um, I say thank you to age. I'm aging gracefully, but the closer I get to 40, like for my 37th birthday, I tell people I got this little line right here. So we're gonna have to um, switch up the way that I put it on, but I don't wear a lot of eyeliner, like a wing or anything. I can show you how to do a wing for a hooded lid. I will wear them sometimes, but I put my liners more in the waterline or either like tight line them because of my eye shape. I wanna keep it open. Now I do have a lot of lid space and when we're talking lid space, what I mean by that is, let me show you with one of my brushes here, um, that from the eyebrow to the lash line, I have enough space. I have about one and a half inches. Some people have an inch, some people have less. Um, so I have a lot of room to work around with here. So I'm gonna pick a larger brush. If you didn't have as much room to to pick around with you can find a brush that's more um, a smaller size and you want to use like a fluffier brush and when I say that make sure your bristles go back and forth I always like to do this with my brushes so if I'm gonna have a bristle fall out which this is a great brush a new brush it's not gonna fall out all right so we're gonna start here with these colors and I'll drop the names of the colors below for you so I'm just gonna roll my brush like what I mean when I say roll my brushes like this because it's a lot of color, a lot of pigment there. All right, so I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna start right here, and I'm just gonna go back and forth in the crease line. And you can hold your brush kinda like this. If you're hooded, sometimes on the end, you'll see me flip and do my brush more like that because I like to get under that crease. And I just like to go back and forth. I feel like I should start singing for you guys again. I do my hair toss, check my nails. My husband's so tired of hearing that song. But I love it. I love Lizzo and I love all her songs. And I think it's an empowering woman song. So he has to hear it all the time. I took a bath last night and just played her whole CD. Well, I guess you don't say CDs anymore. My Apple library. You can tell I'm old school here. All right, so we can go to the other eye. Yes, and I'm not, I've not even had anything like coffee or anything yet. This is just like my natural mindset life energy. So I just like to energize people. And I always want to say up front that, you know, 
Lime Life products, um, I, as a professional, people always ask me, why did you choose this brand? Like, why did you go? Because you want to go with something because you get a discount on your products. But I love being able to offer them to my customers and, like, they've changed their lives, especially the skincare and the foundation and primers and stuff. So, but our company uses a lot of professional brands. Our parent company is Alcom. And Alcon is um, one of the largest makeup companies. It's based out of New York. It's awesome. And our two CEOs, um, Michelle's father is has been the CEO of Alcon and their family history behind that's amazing. But like Scandinavia, that is one of my number one products as someone that does brides and that kind of thing. Well, that's who we work with for our primers and our setting sprays. Um, Krylon. We work with them for our concealers. They do a lot of those special effects, like all those Joss Whedon movies and now Jordan Peele, all those um, movies sometimes that have like the things where, you know, you have to have like that special effects makeup. Uh, the Krylon makes that makeup. Um, Research Council Makeup Artist makes our foundation. So, I mean, I trust chemist. My husband has a master's in chemistry and but I don't want the same chemist making my whole line. That's just me personally. I mean, some brands do that. I don't use just Lime Life on my pro products on my brides either and, and my people. I use a variety of everything, but this is one that I stick with because I feel like it works and um, I feel like I get good results and that my makeup holds up and my reputation holds up. So um, Lime Life also offers it. You don't have to be a professional to sell this stuff. I mean, you can get it in the hands of everyday women and that's kind of been our mission and men. I'm in the wear makeup too, but getting it in the hands of people every day because this gives you confidence and makes you feel good. So if this is something that you think, hey, I want some extra income, I want some sisterhood, I want something fun to do, drop a comment below or message me directly and we can have a conversation. All right, so I'm gonna use this bronzy color here. I switched brushes, I went with the smaller brush and I'm gonna focus, I tell my people when I'm teaching classes, think of your eye like a window pane. Cut in the middle. I'm gonna focus on the bottom window pane here. So notice I'm putting it halfway and where my pupil starts. And I am going to kind of take it into a little bit of a C or V shape. Um, some people like their eyeshadow real sharp, like a V. I prefer mine a little more rounded. Um, with a hooded lid, I do go up into that crease just a little bit higher. Because I want to pull the illusion of your eye is going this way. So if you look at my eyes right now, I'm starting to get a crease. I'm starting to open a little bit. I'm going to take this same brush here, and I'm going to kind of wipe out some of the eyeshadow. Um, and I tell people, hold your eye like this if you need to, like when I'm teaching them. And just blend. Blending is our friend. And sometimes I'll keep me a little beige or neutral, like creamy colored eyeshadow to do a full all over blend. You can blend too much. You can blend that shadow right off. But the beauty of makeup, honestly guys, it washes. People think it is, but guess what? If you hate it, go to the sink, get you some soap. Hopefully face soap, not dial soap. And wash the stuff off your face. <laughs> Start over. All right, so we're gonna go to the other eye. And excuse my allergies this morning. Anytime that September, October come around, my nose is like, oh. We love pumpkins, we love apples, but girl, we hate some leaves. Keep us away from them because they hurt our nose. So, that being said. All right, so I'm gonna take this same color, I'm gonna get it into my creases. And if you have trouble, like I said, pull your eyelid up if you have lots of fold. Hold your brush like this if you really need to get into there. So I'm gonna clean off this brush again. And honestly, you could do so many color combinations with this palette. You could just use the gold and use this brown for a liner. You, the possibilities are literally endless. Um, this is just something that I feel like is going to help my eye. We're gonna clean up our eye, don't worry about that. That's why I keep a sponge nearby, like that same sponge you used. 
And I like our sponges because they're microbial, so the bacteria is clean out. If you don't use our sponge, let me just tell you, when you're cleaning sponges, make sure you clean them. If you start noticing tears, you need to trash it. But people say, why is your sponge like $17 to $20? And I said, well, it's because it's microbial. Um, also, when you're washing your sponge, you need to heat it up in the microwave for like two minutes to get the bacteria. It has to get to a certain pressure. I've worked with a dermatologist and you need to get that pressure and that water temperature to really like boil out what's in the middle because you can clean a sponge a thousand times. But if you're not doing that, I usually put like a little bit of water in a bowl with some soap all around my sponge. Um, you can either use like Johnson & Johnson maybe or we have like um, a good soap that cleans these. Put it in, put it in the microwave for two minutes. Can't touch it, it's gonna be really hot, but you wanna take care of that, um, and it, it just helps with the bacteria. All right, so we're gonna switch to a very flat brush here. And I'm gonna grab our lighter color. And this color is really pretty. And if you notice, like I pat my shadows, There's, it's all about the technique of how you put on your eyeshadow. If you're just swiping it everywhere, you're gonna get color all down on your face. That's why I normally do eyes first. Um, but for your benefit, I didn't want you guys to watch like an hour and a half of me getting ready. I like to break it up into tidbits of information that you can actually use every day. And you can modify this. You can skip some steps. I mean, honestly, I can go from start to finish, getting ready, shower, fix this moppy curly hair, everything in 45 minutes. So it can be done. All right, so I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to brush a little bit around the ball of my eye and gonna come up into this inner crease. I'm gonna wake myself up. Can you tell? Like, it just makes a difference, but you pat it on. Like, it's called packing. And I always think it sounds fancy. I love to teach to my girls, get that thump on. You just sound like a little pro over there doing that. All right, I'm gonna take the same brush because the bristles are really good and stiff. A lot of times you'll see me, I didn't do it today, I'll put concealer up under here. Now, I don't go all the way down on my brow bone with that because I feel like sometimes shimmer can make you look swollen and I have like a puffier eyelid, so I'm gonna show you a trick of what I personally do. I'm just gonna put it right under this arch of my brow and then I'm gonna grab my clean brush over here. And this is why I like a shadow cleaner. You can get these like anywhere, Amazon. I think I got this $4 on Amazon. So I'm gonna take that color and I'm just gonna pull it into like the empty space and make them touch. So think about like water paint, like coloring in the lines. And I wanted to make a video so you could stop, pause, stop, pause, do whatever you needed to, to be able to see this. All right, so we'll come back and do a little touch with this at the very end. I'm gonna set it to the side. I'm gonna grab my nude liner first here and I'm gonna open my water lid. It's gonna go right on the water line. These are waterproof. They're hypoallergenic. They're not going to hurt your eyes. I have people say like, why do you do that? All right, look at the difference before I move on. See how this eye is open and awake? When you use lights on your face, you're pulling things forward. When you use darks, you're recessing them. Just remember that. That's why contour is important. Like, That's why you see a little bit darker here because I want you to see that cheekbone. That's why you see, I call it the wilts and chin. It runs in the family. Put some dark on it to cover it up. People say, hey girl, have you lost weight? No, I haven't. I need to, yes, but I love food. Oh, hello, tacos. But um, I use that, so. All right, so I'm gonna put it on this eye. Mama loves to eat, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I am working with my fitness coach, and Amber's great, and she does, like, an online group and, like, a text group if you wanna be part of that. Um, just let me know very affordable but at the same time i still like to eat i'm not gonna lie all right so we're gonna use this right here and it's called be proud and appreciate you those are the two colors so i'm going to show you and i like to use a brush for this now i will tell you that these they're they're like a um like a gel almost see how pretty that is they're waterproof but they don't move after you get them set in place, you better kind of blend them because they're gonna stay put. You can cry through them. I mean, you can wash it off, of course, with like makeup remover. But you wanna get these in place. And this is what's gonna make my look pop today because my face is very monochromatic. 
And what that means is everything's kind of the same color scheme. Like I've kept it like all in the neutrals lights. All right, so I'm gonna get up close. I'm gonna put this into the lash area where my lashes are. And I'm just running it back and forth. And I usually like to do about to where the iris part of your eye ends. And that's the colored part for you that are not anatomy people. So don't feel stupid or say, what's my iris? What's my pupil? I'm gonna give you a little bit of a lesson today. I love still working with patients. All right, so see how that just adds a little pop of color there? Um, I'm going to do the same thing on this eye. And these are so in. I'm telling you what, it's funny that Lime Life picked these colors. They wouldn't tell us up front what um, the Allie's line was before we got to Hilton Head. You could purchase the whole line, which is what I did, so that because Jacob, who used to work for Mac, is one of the top three executives. He's been a celebrity makeup artist, Fashion Week um, makeup artist for years, and he is our one of our chiefs. And so he was there to teach us how to use these products this weekend. And he sat right beside me. He's the best. And he literally worked with people that needed help on makeup. And it was like this wonderful thing where we all got together and just helped each other. All right, so now I'm gonna take this side and I'm going to amp up where I had put the shimmer shadow above. And people say at a certain age, can we wear these still? Absolutely. I like this, this is not an age thing. That is a mindset thing. It's kind of like Labor Day years ago. You. That is totally up to you. You, Yes, there are some things that are better for mature skin, but this eyeliners is a way, they're actually a way that you can express yourself no matter your age. That's what's beautiful about it. And you see, I almost caught myself using that um, without cleaning it, and I would have had a colored up mess. So I just take my pencil here and I just kind of rub it in. And like, I had them kind of meet in the middle if you can't tell. So I'm gonna go back again real quick. I really want this to pop. You could do it very light. Or you could add some color like I'm doing. Now, if you wanted to get really bold, like you see you were going out, you could pull this eyeshadow palette here. The second eyeshadow palette that we talked about. Or actually the last one. You can pull some of this really beautiful teal color. And, you know, if you haven't, you don't know who Allie Raceman is. I've taped um, on Facebook the live interview. So it's on my page. And one intent with this makeup is that her sister's a makeup addict. Her being a competitive gymnast wanted something that you could be bold with but also be soft with. And being fierce, you don't have to be like this wild, bold woman. You can be you. So... All right, so I'm gonna get my mascara here, and this is also by Lime Life, but I'm gonna add some Lancome on top of it. Monsor Big is one of my favorites, and they make a great waterproof. Ours are water resistant, but they are not waterproof. So I do tell people you can be out in the rain, you could cry, I've cried like at church, and my mascara not mess up, but if I'm going swimming, I wear this, or I wear the Bad Gal Bang. Um, Benefit has a waterproof as well. I will do a review one day just on mascara for you guys because I probably have about um, 50 and I've tried like every brand possible. So when you're doing the top lashes, I always like to tell people do the front and back, not just the front. And this mascara it has little fibers in it, but they don't dry out and it's not two steps like some brands, but it's truly is a buildable mascara. I, think, I, I tell people this is my perfect daytime mascara and then I have a perfect nighttime mascara. But it works great, it's soft. And you see how I got a spot on my face? I'm gonna teach you guys a little trick how to get that off. Um, I have really long lashes. I know, boo-hoo, oh, your lashes are so long. Um, I actually use Rodin and Fields. Um, lash boost and I do the preferred customer thing and I don't need it but every five months refilled even though it says like you know preferred three they can push you back but if you don't have a rep I might can connect you with someone 
but it has really changed the lash game for me. Um, I already had long lashes, but not to the length that has made it to where I feel confident now. I can just go with no mascara if I want to. All right, so see how I could stop here and this could kind of be my daytime look. You like that little, that's why they keep me behind the camera and not as a model on the front of the camera. Cause I do these, like I had a model for something one time and I'm like, and they're like, that's not a smile. Okay. That's no, no ma'am. So let me make you pretty and you be on the camera. And let's keep me working on the back. Notice how I'm just, this is one reason, like, I don't have any ties to this brand. I'm not an influencer for them. This is just my personal opinions as an experienced professional. I'm actually certified in makeup. I have done over 15 hours, 1,500 hours of continuing ed in the past two years now. And I love this mascara. I'm always trying to learn and find something to do. I just renewed my certification and I was like, honestly, you know, I ask myself every year, like when I'm in a job, like I evaluate myself since I'm my own business owner. So I give myself, you know, like how you have to get those self evals at work and then you have to get an eval. And I'm like, do you still love it like you did last year? Absolutely. Then you know you're in the right place because it, it lights my fire. Like going to Hilton Head this week lit my fire, literally. All right, so you see how I have this spot here? I usually use a spoolie. I don't have one with me, so I'm gonna use my nail. Let it dry completely and scrape it right off your face. Just a little tip for you so you don't mess up your makeup. All right, so I hope that this less than 30 minutes of me talking and showing you th some things, you could literally do this look in 10 minutes, but I wanted to break it down step by step for you. I did say that I was gonna do one last thing at the end. So I'm gonna grab my shadows here. I'm gonna take that gold just on my finger and see how pretty it is. And I'm gonna set it like in the middle of my eye because I want it to pop. I tell people all the time, fingers are your absolute best tools. When they ask me like, where should I purchase the best tools? Well, guess what, sister? God gave them to you. They're on your hands. That's where you should purchase them because they're right there. Use your fingers. All right, so if you like this look, make sure that you like and subscribe and that you're following me. You can click uh, see first on Facebook. I like to do a lot of lives. I like to do a lot of fun. Um, I do have a VIP group that you can be part of. We're going to be doing some cool giveaways this year. Stay tuned. Make sure that you're liking these things. You might have a chance to get one of these yourself. All right, have the best day ever.